This is Chris Kent with your Model Fit Workout B Block 1. For, uh, for Workout B, we're going to start out uh, once again with our core circuit. All right? So what we're going to do is, uh, once again, start on your back. Uh, I want you to think about putting your hands behind your back. All right? I'll scoot a little forward here so you can see me. But uh, we're going to put our hands behind our back. Again, press everything together. I'm pressing my feet together. I'm pressing my knees together. And I'm pressing my back into my hands here just to where I have a slight arch. All right? So I'm tensing my entire body. And I want to maintain this tension the whole time. If you find your feet coming apart or your knees coming apart, I want you to stop and come down. That's us breaking tension. So we want to generate as much tension as possible to work the right muscles. So what we've got here, abs are tight. I'm just pressing together. I'm just extending out as far as I can while keeping this flat back going on. Right? If I feel, or keeping this slight arch in my back. If I feel myself start to separate, I lose tension, I feel cracking or popping or anything, I just, that's as far as I want to go. I just want to move out as far as I can with control while maintaining this arch and coming back. All right, that's going to give us the definition you're looking for there. Just think about squeezing your blood, keeping everything squeezed together. We've got 30 seconds in that position. Okay, from there, uh, we are going to go into a plank march, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, a plank knee tuck. All right, with the, t with the plank knee tuck, I'm going to come into a push-up position here. Once again, get my abs tight. Pause at the top four to two seconds. Pause at the top four to two seconds. You'll notice I'm tucking my knees out just slightly, uh, just so I don't arch my back as I, or I'm sorry, I don't round my back as I come forward. I want to keep my back flat like a table. Once again, keep my uh, keep my elbows screwed into the ground here so they're not flailing out. I'm going for a period of 30 seconds. All right, now from here, uh, we are going back into the dead bug with a uh, leg lower. So with this, I'm going to start my legs up here like this, get my abs tight. I'm just lowering down, tapping the floor from side to side. Pause for one or two seconds, come back, just lowering down, just like that. From there, coming back immediately, I'm coming into a plank march. There with a plank march, again, I'm going to my elbows here, getting my abs tight. Pausing at the top for one or two seconds, raising out, pausing at the top for one or two seconds just like that. All right, so with that said, that's our, that's our plank circuit. I'm sorry, that's our core circuit. We're going to perform each exercise back to back, 30 seconds um, until we're done. All right, so now we have our uh, strict training circuit here. So for my first exercise, I have a split squat. All right, now the split squat begins with body weight. Okay, and I can start by just hands on my hips, Drop my back knee to a pad or you know just some sort of a target. You can use a pillow or whatever you might have. But I want to think about keeping my knee or my toe. And what I like about stopping at the ground like this is I can de-weight myself. If I if I find like my weight my uh, I'm way far into my toes, my knees way far forward, I can just stop, readjust as necessary, or put the weight down from holding it. Pop it up, pause, go back down, pause, just like that. Now once you're able to get a good eight to twelve reps of body weight, I'm just going to hold. The dumbbell, a dumbbell in a goblet position like this. All right, I'm going to pop it up, hold it at the top for one few seconds, come back down. Once again, pretending I have my head kind of tethered to the ceiling here, so I'm dropping straight up and down. All right, so that's our first exercise. All right, I'm looking for eight to 12 reps on each leg, and then we are moving into our second exercise, the push up. And we're doing a lot of push ups in this first phase, but that's uh, one of the foundational movements of our program. Today we're going to train with weight, right? So, what I'm going to do is form a plate push-up. All right, I'm going to place the plate on my back. I'm going to think about keeping my back flat. Come up into a push-up position. Pause at the bottom. I can kind of de-weight myself a little bit here. And come back up. All right, pause at the bottom. Kind of let the tension come off. Pop it back up. Once again, I'm looking for 8 to 12 reps. And you know, if you do not have the plate push-up yet, you can certainly do this with body weight. The difference here is that, again, I'm de-weighting myself, and I'm using this more of as a strength training move in the sense that I'm not, I'm, uh, you know, trying to work maximal tension there. So get a pillow or something that you can go down onto. You know, certainly if you can't do it on the floor with good form, you know, we can move up something a little bit higher, like a step. Same rules apply. Pause at the bottom, pop it up. But I promise you this, when phase one is over, your upper body is going to be much stronger. You're going to be very good at push-ups. All right, now for our last exercise, we have a lat pull-down. Okay, for this, we're going to need, uh, you know, you can use a traditional lat pull your sit-down. 
Uh, at our gym, we have a cable system here. What I'm going to do, come into a half kneeling position here. Once again, think about tucking my shoulder blades down and back. Elbows are tucked in. We're moving at a slow and controlled pace. You wait for a second. Pull. Pause at the top. Pull. And again, the key with this one, we just want to back, if you're using a cable system, just back far enough away to where you're not like straight over and your head's behind it. We want to stay, stay away from those behind the head lat pull downs. All right, so we've got three sets of each strength training exercise, eight to 12 reps. All right, and then we have our core circuit, three sets of 30 seconds on the floor. That's your block A.